Does this thing even cut? Oh. Did you ever think that the sharpness of your knife rivals that of a butter knife? We're gonna change all that today, right now. I think for many individuals, one of the scariest things that they're going to do is take their knife and put a sharpening stone to it. They're just afraid that they're gonna damage their knife or maybe they tried it in the past and have damaged their knife. So what I'm gonna do today is go over some very simple sharpening tips so you can get your knife razor sharp. Before we start this video though, it's always super important to always practice good knife safety. Make sure you have the time to do this. You're not in a rush. You don't want to cut yourself. And it's also very important to know that a sharp knife is a safe knife. Yep, I said it. A sharp knife is a safe knife. That might sound like that just makes zero sense, but the reality is that if you have a nice sharp knife and you're following our knife safety rules, that it's very easy to cut whatever item you're trying to cut. A dull knife, on the other hand, many people struggle with and they start doing things outside the realm of what our cutting involves and that's when we start to cut fingers, legs, and whatever else is in the way of the blade. One thing that I cannot stress enough is do not, do not let your knife get dull. Don't let it get dull if you keep it maintained. It's just so much easier to keep it sharp. If it gets super dull or you're cutting things you shouldn't cut with it, that's when it becomes a little bit of a nightmare for you. So if you wanna eliminate the nightmare, maintain your knife on a regular basis. So of course, if your knife doesn't come along with any type of sharpening device, you're going to need to get some type of sharpening stone. Small pocket sharpening stones you can buy at any major box store or home retail store is going to work just fine. Now, before you start sharpening, I want you to read the label of the packaging that your stone came in. A lot of times, the stones that you're going to get require either oil or water. My preference is water because it's all over the place in the field, so it's really easy to carry just your stone. You don't have to worry about oil or anything. You can just go dip this, spit on it, or in my case, take a little bit of snow and simply just rub it on the face there. Think of water on your stone as a lubricant. When we're sharpening a knife, we're actually removing metal. That's how we are sharpening that knife and bringing it back to sharp. So those metal shavings or those metal scrapings are going to get caught in the stone itself. By having some water on there, that lubricant catches it and mixes up creating a slurry and allows us to clean our stone and keep it fresh for the next use. Now, with this technique, we are going to hold the handle of the knife. We never have to go up here and touch any part of the blade. We just have to hold the handle. So to begin, I want you to hold the handle with the point of the knife facing away, blade facing up. This is gonna give you, the user, a very nice, clean image of what is actually happening between your stone and your knife. Now this is where it gets a little confusing for people. What we want to do is we want to close the gap. And what I mean by that is when you lay your stone against the side of the knife blade, there is going to be a small gap between the stone and the edge of the knife. That's what we're gonna consider and call the gap. Lean our stone into the knife until that space or gap starts to disappear. The second that black line disappears, you are on the correct angle, the correct grind, in order to sharpen that knife. Now very easily we can work our stone up and down on the edge of that knife, applying medium pressure. Now that I complete it one side, I'm gonna rotate the knife around. I'm still gonna hold on to the handle. This time the tip is just going to point at my chest. Again, blade is still up so we have a nice visual of what is actually happening. I can then go ahead and take my stone and continue sharpening the same way we did on the other side. We're gonna simply close that gap, make that black line disappear, and begin to work our stone down the edge of the blade. And then when you get all of that done, grab a piece of wood and see, does your knife cut any better? If it does, then you're on the right track. You can continue this process if you like. If you're happy with how sharp your knife is at that point, you are good. Some common mistakes that many, many, many individuals make though is that they add too much angle onto their stone when sharpening. I cannot stress the importance enough of closing that gap just until that black line between our blade edge and our stone disappears. When that happens, we are on the perfect grind angle and you're gonna get the sharp blade that you want. 
Why I like to teach this technique is also for that reason. So many times when individuals have a flat stone on a surface and they slide their knife across like we see so many times in sharpening videos, they roll the knife up too much and this is going to knock the edge off of your knife. Over time doing this, people apply way too much pressure, they roll their knife too far, and this is what causes so many dull knives. So what I will say to everyone is keep that blade up so you can see what's happening, lean your stone in, close that gap, and work up and down the blade and you're going to have a very sharp knife. <sighs> Mind blowing, right? Like, it's that easy. It is very simple. If you are really, really nervous about doing this, my recommendation is just take an old knife, an old kitchen knife or something you have laying around and apply this concept to it. After a little bit of practice, you're gonna get the feel for closing that gap and how much pressure you need to apply and how many passes you need to apply to it. It's really not that complicated. I try to keep this super simple so everybody out there can sharpen their knives and keep them in good working condition. So I really hope everybody enjoyed this video. Get your knives sharp, keep them sharp. Remember, don't let them get dull. Before they get dull, touch them up and you will be a happy camper. Straight up pun intended there. So this was Dan Wolwak. As always, I like to say stay in the woods, and as we say at UCO, stay lit.